Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Andrew. Today, I'm doing my full review on the all new Asus X200CA laptop. All right, let's get started. Let's get started with the specs. This laptop features an Intel Celeron processor 1007U running at 1.5 gigahertz, four gigabytes of RAM, 11.6 inch high definition touchscreen display with a resolution of 1366 by 768, 500 gigabyte hard drive, Intel HD graphics, built in one megapixel webcam. The operating system is Microsoft Windows 8 and the laptop comes weighing in at three pounds and measures just 1.2 inches thick. The retail price of this laptop is $279.99. First, let's talk about the design and build quality. The design is a textured black finish on top that looks stylish. The build quality is great. I did not find any issues regarding build quality. For this section, let's test out the boot up speed on the all new Asus X200CA laptop. And the results are in. This laptop booted up in about 20 seconds, which is a little bit faster than average. For this section, let's take a look at the ports here on the left side of the laptop. Starting from the left, you got your AC charging port, VGA port, HDMI output, USB 3.0 port, and your exhaust port. Let's go ahead and rotate to the right side now and take a look. Starting from the right, you got your Kensington security slot, Ethernet port, two USB 2.0 ports, headset and microphone combo jack, and an SD card reader. All right, let's go ahead and rotate to the front of the laptop. Here you got your standby indicator LED light. Next up, let's talk about display and touchscreen performance. The display quality has been great. Colors and text look sharp and vivid, considering its native resolution is only 1366 by 768. Touchscreen performance has been very smooth and efficient. Multi-touch and swiping left and right has been great. I have not had any issues with the touchscreen on this panel. For this section, let's test out the viewing angles here on the 11.6 inch non-IPS display. Let me go ahead and rotate to the left side. You can see the glare starting to pop up. Let's test out the right side now. You can see a little bit of a glare starting to pop up. Overall, the viewing angles were adequate. Nothing to brag about. All right, let's go ahead and rotate the laptop back to the center and test out the display angles now by tilting the display back. Let's see how much discoloration we get by tilting it back. As you can see, the colors fade dramatically. Once I tilt it back, you regain the colors. For this section, let's talk about the Intel Celeron 1007U processor. This processor runs at 1.5 GHz and is based on the Intel Ivy Bridge architecture. I've been satisfied with the performance from this processor. For the average consumer that wants to browse the web, check email, watch 720p HD videos and Word documents, this computer was up to the task. And with 4GB of RAM, I was able to multitask without any issues. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at some Geekbench 3 performance scores using the 64-bit version. For the single core score, I got 1,339, and the multi core score, I got 2,247. Next up, Cinebench R15. For the CPU score, I got 101 CB. For this section, let's take a look at some Windows 8 experience scores. For the processor, I got a sub score of 5.5. For the memory, 5.9. Desktop graphics performance, 4.6. Gaming graphics, 6.0. Primary hard disk was 5.9. For this section, let's test out the 500GB hard drive running at 5400 RPM using Crystal Disk Mark. For the sequential read speed, I got a score of 98.24 megabytes a second. And for the write speed, I got a score of 86.87 megabytes a second. With these speeds, you can expect average performance from these traditional hard drives. Next up, let's test out the Intel HD graphics. The model we have inside this laptop is based off the Intel HD 2500. Using 3D Mark for the Firestrike 1.1, I got a score of 208. For CloudGate 1.1, I got a score of 1,548. And for iStorm 1.2, I got a score of 15,766. With these benchmark scores, you can expect to play low duty games like God of Wars 2, Counter Strike, and FIFA 14. This section, I want to talk about how much heat this computer generates during normal usage. On average, the CPU temperatures were around 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. For the heat stress test, I'm going to play Minecraft for around 15 minutes. And the results are in. After playing Minecraft for 15 minutes, the temperatures averaged around 59 to 68 degrees Celsius. Now those of you that are wondering, is Minecraft playable on this laptop? Yes, it is. With certain settings and configurations, I was able to get Minecraft playable on this laptop at around 35 frames per second. Let me show you some of the settings and configurations I chose in order to run Minecraft on this laptop. 
For this section, let's talk about battery performance. The performance from the 3 cell lithium ion battery was less than average. On average, I was able to get around 2.5 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 75%. For this session, let's talk about the Wi-Fi performance. The performance from this laptop has been great. I have not had any connection issues or dropouts. For this section, let's talk about the keyboard and trackpad performance. Typing on this keyboard felt adequate. I just wish the keys were just a little bit bigger. Trackpad performance has been great as well. Multi-touch gestures and swiping has been very smooth. Overall, I've been satisfied with the touchpad. This laptop takes the cake in terms of price and functionality. For $279.99, you get a 11.6 inch touchscreen laptop with a good Intel Celeron processor and 4GB of RAM. That's pretty hard to beat. My only cons with this laptop were the short battery life and less than average speaker quality. Alright, this completes my review on the all new ASUS X200CA laptop. If you enjoyed this review, please click that like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.